Now to the latest on coronavirus. Today, an autopsy report finds the baby thought to be Michigan's youngest COVID victim actually died of complications from a birth defect. Jason Colthorpe has the latest on a sad update. The baby boy from the Upper Peninsula was born with a condition called gastroschisis, where the intestines actually form on the outside of the baby's body. Days before the baby died, he tested positive for COVID-19, and hospital staff said that contributed to his passing. Chief Medical Executive Dr. Janae Caldoun mentioned a two-month-old had died from COVID-19 at the governor's last press event. I was so saddened to hear this week of a two-month-old baby in Michigan who died because of COVID-19. Quickly afterwards, the boy's mother went on Facebook and made a post that has since been deleted saying she was very angry with the state for counting her son as a COVID-19 death when she says her son died from that birth defect. We asked the state to comment on the case. A spokesperson said, quote, we remain unable to provide any additional details about the two-month-old who was mentioned at the press conference. And that includes being unable to confirm or deny that any specific baby is the baby that was referenced. That statement went on to say it relies on the judgment of treating physicians in determining whether a death is associated with COVID-19. Now, if all that seems confusing, that's because it sure is. The Detroit Free Press is reporting the first line of the autopsy report says the baby's cause of death was COVID-19, but that report goes on to say the birth defect played a major role in the baby's death. Again, just highlighting how difficult it can be to classify deaths from COVID-19. I'm Jason Coulthard, Local 4.